we are going to read the real time clock of S7200 CF Siemens PLC using TAE version 14. First click create a new project then create. Configure a device. Add a new device. In this choose your PLC type. The PLC that I am using is CPU 1214C DC 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 and the serial number is this one. Next click add. In this, we have to first set the IP address of the PLC here. The IP address of the PLC that I am using is 192.168.1.1 and I am using it through a router and the router address is 1.1. Next, go to programming blocks and main blocks. In this main block only, we are going to do the programming. So normally open contact and give any memory address. Next go to instruction. In this go to extended instruction. In this choose date and time of day. So RDSYS. This is the instruction used for reading CPU time and day. To use this instruction we need a data block for storing the data that this instruction has read. So we have to create a data block. Go here and click add a new block. Next choose a global data block and click OK. Under this you can click any name and using time. For data type you choose DTL which is the format for date and time. Once you choose this format you could see there is an array of data created here. Next go to your main program. In this out you choose the data block that you have created. See data block 2 is the one which I have created it. In this choose time and click OK. In return value you could give any, give any memory address and using MW code. To download the program go to your main block and press this download to device button. In this choose your PG interface and the motherboard name and click start search. So if your PLC is connected in that network you will get a orange color over here and you could see the PLC here. Choose it and press load. In this choose delete all to delete the old program. Click load. Click finish. Click this icon to monitor your program. So to read the clock I am turning on this bit so that this read instruction is executed and in the data blocks you could see the actual time. Go here and press monitor. Then you could see the date and time set in the CPU of the PLC. If you want to turn on or turn on something using time, go to instruction and then and you could use compare instruction to turn on on a particular date and time. So in this way, we could use the real time clock to turn on and turn off an output. Thank you.